Yeah, this is Dr. Caldwell Miller with Dr. Miller's Guide in Neurology. We're talking about things that we treat every day in the private practice of neurology. We've been talking about headaches, and today we're going to talk about a class of drug called G-Pants. I hate that name, G-Pants. I hadn't quite figured out exactly how this mnemonic came up with what these drugs are, so I don't pay much attention to it. But they're calcitonin gene-related peptide antagonists, and they don't cause vasoconstriction like the triptan, so they work differently. Their new class of drugs are not the uh, monoclonal antibodies, but they work intracranially. Um, Culepta is the first one, and you take it 60 milligrams daily for prevention. So once daily prophylactic treatment. Uh, we often start at 30, but you can start at 30 or 60. If they have renal failure, start, start at 10. We just don't see many side effects. They're usually GI, like nausea, constipation, anorexia, rare fatigue. The second one, which we use a ton, is Nurtec. Um, it's great because you can use symptomatically and prophylactically. It's an orally dissolving tablet, 75 milligrams. You can take one a day symptomatically, and, um, or you can take it every other day for prevention. It was just approved for every other day use. Uh, Zapred is the new nasal formulation. Nurtec just came out. It's for rescue only, just if you have a bad headache. And a lot of people with headaches, you know, and they're throwing up a drug like this, is definitely worth, worth a try, 10 milligram nasal spray. One, one spray and one nostril, only one a day, up to eight in a month. Um, the last one is Ubrevly, which we love Ubrevly. It's 50 to 100 milligrams at onset, repeat in two hours, up to 200 milligrams a day. Now, this class of drugs are metabolized by the CYP3A4 enzyme. Who knows what the heck that is? And I have a hard time myself as a neurologist keeping up with all the drugs you have to watch with this. So I don't worry about it. Um, I just uh, look it up every time. If a patient's got a complicated drug list, I look and see um, if any of these drugs are on there. A lot of the antifungal drugs, um, verapamil, which we use a lot, um, some of the beta blockers. And grapefruit juice is sort of weird. You have to tell them not to drink grapefruit juice. Uh, Cipro, an antibiotic we sometimes use. Um, so it's just something you have to be aware of. There are a lot of drugs that interact with it. And you just have to pay attention with each patient you put on it. Um, so that's the G-Pants, and this is a great class of drugs. You know, what's great is now we have so many different things to try. So if Tylenol doesn't work, if Advil doesn't work, if the Triptan doesn't work, this is another class of drug for migraine. They're just great to have all these different choices. So subscribe to my channel, um, like my channel, make any comments, and we'll be giving you more later.